One friendly Arab leader visiting the United States, a dangerous political situation, and a loaded camera changed the rumor of assassination into the ingredients of murder. Did you get the silencer? I have done my part. Arranged everything. Copley Hotel at exactly 3.30 this afternoon. The rest is up to you. You will not get a second chance. One chance is all I ask. the excitement about nobody sets foot in that elevator without an official clearance why not because ibn yusuf is a plenty scared pigeon you heard the assassination rumors well, he's even got armed guards outside his door yusuf the big wheel in the arab world huh i didn't know he was staying here oh come on now mike don't play dumb arnie you have it your way but look if things are so tight how come you bother staying around the way we look at it is Ibn Yusuf has got to come down eventually, if only to renew his visa. Hey, Clark, my name is Mike Kovac. I have an appointment with Sarah Castle. Oh, yes, Mr. Kovac. She's expecting you. That's uh, the sixth floor, Suite H. It's all right, Lieutenant Hollis. Thank you. Lots of luck, Arnie. Hey, you got to be kidding. The picture layout on Sarah Castle, her theatrical career was washed up years ago. She's got to be old by now. What could you possibly want with her? Does Eisenhower tell Khrushchev, huh, honey? The sixth. She's on the same floor as Ibn Yusuf. <laughs> The newspaper men in the lobby and Arab guards in the hall made an intriguing contrast to the job I was really there to do. A photo layout of a former movie star crowding 50, but still playing a fluttery 15. Come in, Mr. Kovac. What was that nonsense you gave me over the phone about wanting to shoot a picture layout of me? Nonsense. Oh, come now, Mr. Kovac. I think it was very clever of you. After all, Ibn Yusuf and I do have a joining suite. Oh, now, wait a minute. You think I come up here to photograph Ibn Yusuf? Well, of course, didn't you? Well, it's just that I'm not a press photographer. You know, I work on layouts, special photos, like those I want of you. But surely you wouldn't turn down a chance to get an exclusive front page picture. Well, maybe not. But, but and, and there must be a whole layout to be had on Ibn Yusuf. You know, he's the key man in the whole Middle East situation. There's been an assassination attempt recently, and that irresponsible playboy son of his is in town too, you know. But you know, you're the first actress that's ever tried to talk me out of taking her picture. <laughs> oh, well, we can do that some other time, but this is far too exciting. Besides, I worked out a plan I simply couldn't bear to see go to waste. For getting past the strong arm guard of Yusuf's door? Hmm? No problem. We've also got adjoining balconies.
Operation Mark of Zorro, I'd say. You must be kidding. Oh, don't hesitate on my account. I'm insured against falling guests. A load off my mind. Quebec, we can't really stand here all day. Let's get on with it. What you're going to do, but I'm for a fresh drink. Don't be alarmed, sir. I'm just a photographer. I'd like to take your picture if you don't mind. My career is complete. I finally did the he went that away bit. Yusuf's just been murdered. What? His son doesn't know it yet, but he just stepped into a big pair of shoes. Murdered by who? I don't know. I just walked in there, somebody slugged me, stole my camera, and beat it. They thought you did it? That's why they were shooting at you? You got the idea. Oh, yeah, you never should have run. That's the worst thing you could have done. Oh, Miss Castle, I'm alone in a room with a man who had just been killed by a trick that camera. There's a man yelling assassin and two bodyguards charging me with blood in her eye and guns in her fists. If I had hung around one more second, there'd have been two corpses in that room. And you know, in a few minutes, the place is going to be crawling with police. I've got to hide someplace. Well, nonsense. All you've got to do is explain. Surely nobody would believe that a man of, of your reputation would murder anybody. The Arabs are not going to be impressed by my professional reputation. But the American authorities... Can't afford to be accused of protecting an assassin. Gee, I... I wanted some excitement, but not this much. 
Miss Castle, Yousef's enemies would like nothing better than to pin the murder on an American, any American. Police, Miss Castle. Yeah, yeah, uh, I'm coming. Well, I don't see what you or I can do about it. If they don't get you now, they're bound to catch you eventually. Well, eventually is later. All I'm asking for is just a little bit of time, Miss Castle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lieutenant Hollis, Miss Castle. I'm investigating the trouble next door. The trouble? Yes, a man's been murdered. Oh, dear. This has always been such a quiet, respectable hotel. We were told the killer used your suite as an escape route. Surely you don't mean that nice Mr. Kovac. Yousef's people claim you told them Kovac dashed down the service stairs. Funny thing, though, there was a porter sweeping those stairs at the time. No one passed him. We know Kovac didn't go through the lobby, and there was a man on duty at the delivery entrance all day, which seems to suggest Kovac is still in the hotel. If he is, Miss Castle, we'll find him. Oh. Well, you can see for yourself, Lieutenant, he isn't here. Oh, in here, Sergeant. I hope you don't mind if my man checks out the rest of your suite. L Lieutenant, uh, a moment ago you referred to Mr. Kovac as the killer. I, I think you meant to say suspect, didn't you? I meant exactly what I said, Miss Castle. Eighteen years on the force, I've never seen a more open and shut case. Lieutenant, place is clean. Not a sign of Stage, please. Hello? Miss Castle, this is a friend of Zorro. Michael, where are you? I'm in the basement garage. The basement garage? You mean here in the hotel? Yes, I tried to get to my car, but the police have a guard on the exit. Now, do you know of any other way out of here? No. The lieutenant's got every exit covered. Oh, Michael, there must be some way. Well, now, look, there is. But I hate to ask, you've done so much already. Do you have an automobile down here? Yes, yes, I do. Well, I could hide in the back seat. And you could drive me out past the guard. Yeah, yeah, that just might work. Except that if I get caught, you'll be in a whole lot of trouble. And I hate to get you into work. Uh... Oh, no, stop it. Don't, don't start apologizing. After all, I, I got you into this mess. Now, look, you go get in the back of my car. It's a powder blue sedan, license 2D7876. Did you see it there? Yes, I see it. Good. I'll be down in a few minutes. Oh, oh don't, don't bother. Thank you very much. I'll get it. Thank you. I'm assuming you're back there, Michael, but I thought it wise not to look. Where to? Well, I don't know. By this time, the police will have my flat staked out. My father's place, too, probably, and all my close friends. Oh, I've got to do some serious thinking. Once around the park, then? Yeah.
biggest problem is to prove that someone else was able to get in the Yusef suite besides myself. But how could anyone get past all those bodyguards? Uh, say, you know, when the police started to search your apartment, I ducked out through a door that opened into a side hallway. The delivery entrance. All the suites have one. Now, I see what you're driving at, but it wouldn't work. You see, someone would still have had to let the killer in. Those service doors open from the inside only. The thief. Who? The thief. He's Yusef's secretary. Now, this has to be the man with all the answers. Sarah, I've got to talk to this guy. Have you lost your mind? You can't possibly go back inside that hotel. No, but you could. And the police won't hang around forever. You could notify me when they left. And then what do I do? Run an ad in the personal column saying, Michael, come home, or all is forgiven? Well, you could meet me someplace. Down the street, about three blocks, is a, a movie house. It's open all night. I could sit in the last row in a balcony until I heard from you. Swell. Unless you have something else planned for the evening. Only a nervous breakdown, but I'm sure that'll keep. I knew the police were looking for me for murder until Sarah Castle could get here with information about Latif, the murdered leader's secretary. I had to sit through the longest double bill of my life. A few more minutes of this torture and I've been ready to confess to the killing. Is it safe for me to go back? Yeah, safe enough, but you'll be wasting your time. Latif went out about a half hour ago. Oh, no. I don't think I didn't have a devil of a time following him. You didn't lose him? Uh-uh. He wound up in an apartment house at 49th and Lexington. Why not get my junior G-man badge? It's in the mail, honey. It's in the mail. Come on. Apartment 308. You tailed him upstairs? No. I, I just watched the elevator indicator. It stopped at 3, so I checked the mailbox. And in 308, there's listed a, a Yasmin Harun. If that isn't an Arabic name, may I never eat another date. Oh, one more thing. I don't know whether it's important or not, but as I was getting into my car, a man came hurrying out of the building, definitely Middle Eastern type. Well, it's not those that leave that I'm worried about. Let's just hope no reinforcements arrive. The thief was the only hope I had. He had to lead me to the real murderer if my hunch was right. And if my hunch was wrong, well, I couldn't be worse off anyway. If you don't come up with the right answers, you'll sure wish I had. Assassin. Assassin! Shut up! You murdered him yourself. Yasmin, help me call the police. Shut your mouth and listen hard. Because there's going to be questions later. Now, you let the assassin in through a side door without the guards knowing after he killed you, said you let him out again. No, it's a lie. I worshipped him yourself. I would have died myself to save him. As Allah is my witness, you are wrong. But there was a man, wasn't there? A photographer. He bribed you to let him in. Please turn around and raise your hands. Idris, call the police. This is the man who killed Ivan Youssef. Why do you hesitate? I'm not sure. What he says just now begins to bother me. You said your brother Hassan was with the news service and that he had to have these pictures or he would lose his job. But now... I begin to wonder, Yasmin, about a lot of things. Surely you do not doubt me, Idris. Now look, if her brother took pictures, why aren't they in the newspapers? You know, under the circumstances, they'd be at a premium. The police, call them. In a moment. First, I would like to see those pictures Hassan took. They did not turn out. There was not enough light. You're lying, Yasmin. I can see it in your eyes. Are you going to listen to this, to this murder? You are a fool. Yeah. I am a fool. 
There was nothing I would not have done for you. Nothing! Except one thing. Now I will call the police. But not for Mr. Kovac here. For you and your brother. Put it down. Put it down! He must hurry, Prince Hamoud. Look, don't talk. Take it easy, Nelson Fernandez. You don't understand. There's not enough time. Hassan just left here for the hotel to take pictures of the young prince, he said. Well, I can't let you alone like this. Oh, I'll, I'll be all right. Give me your gun and hand me the telephone. I'll call the police. Now, you must go quickly. You will not reach there in time. The young prince will already be dead. That man you saw leaving the building, would you know him if you saw him again? Well, uh, I don't know. I guess so, yeah. Well, Why? you'd better because he's the murderer. And only you know what he looks like. We'd better get back to your hotel. Come on. If what you said is true, that lobby's going to be crawling with police. Are you sure about what we're doing? No, but the lobby's the most likely spot for Hassan to strike. Now, you go in there. If you spot him, yell as loud as you can. I'll try to be on the lobby stairs. Maybe I can get there by way of the service elevator. Oh, swell. I walk and you ride. Oh, well, it's good for my figure. Evening, Miss Castle. Oh. oh, Lieutenant Hollis, isn't it? Uh, you still here? Yes. I tried to reach you earlier for a statement. Just how well do you know this man, Kovac? Oh, not at all well, Lieutenant. We understand he came to your room to take some pictures of you. Must have seemed rather strange to you when he stepped from your balcony over to the next. No, I, I merely thought that Mr. Kovac was a very enterprising young man who... Oh, dear. Let's print some out, buddy. We got a phone call from a man warning us of a possible assassination attempt on the prince's life. He said your friend uh, Kovac told him to call. Oh, oh not, not my friend, Lieutenant. See, Mr. Kovac and I simply met when he... There! <laughs> You're not going to shoot him, too. You bet I am after what I've been through. I'm going to shoot him plenty. Maybe it hasn't got the dignity or prestige of a magazine spread, but it's the largest circulation. You know every newspaper in the world is carrying it? Yeah. And thanks to you, Michael. The office has started to come in again. Oh, Broadway? No, not exactly, but there's... Uh... Talk of giving me my own television series. Well, that's wonderful. Yeah. You gonna take it? Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, you don't need the money, huh? Oh, no, it isn't that. But, well, you see, I'm used to leading such a quiet, uncomplicated, peaceful life. I'm not sure I could stand the pace. 